Perplexity AI is a fantastic AI tool for organizing, accessing and taking a deep dive into knowledge, even into like scientific papers and a real depth of academic literature. Uh, here's an example I just did in the previous video looking at a question about a concept in psychology and you can see that not only does it return the sort of text that you'd expect back from OpenAI but it actually includes sources or citations and then you can click through onto each of those. Now the perplexity uh, API seems to be a little bit behind what you can get through the web interface here uh, because it doesn't give you sources but there was uh, some did Asked that question 20 days ago on one of their forums or it might be in the subreddit and it sounds like sources are on the way so in this bob tutorial video i'm going to demonstrate to you how you can add in the amazing knowledge base ai tool of perplexity ai and how you can add that into your bubble app um, but before i do that if you're learning bubble there is no better way to do that than heading to planetnocode.com where you can get access to our exclusive no code members community uh, and you get access to hundreds of bubble tutorial videos just like this one you can't find them all on our youtube channel if you want to keep learning you have to go to planetnocode.com but let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, so, uh, yep, here we go. This is the API documentation. And in this video, I will be showing you each step of the way of adding this into your bubble app to get that simple question and answer dialogue going in your bubble app. So let's go into my app and I'm going to go to the API connector. And if you've not got the API connector, you can add it in plugins. It's an official plugin by Bubble. And as you can see here, whether that's Assembly AI or Anthropic or Lemon Squeezy, Browser Bear, ChatGPT, OpenAI, this is how you integrate in with all of these other amazing services in your Bubble app. So I'm going to start here with uh, Perplexity, and I'm going to keep guessing that, spelling that wrong. Oh, uh, that's embarrassing uh perplexity in fact i can't see what's wrong with that anymore i'm going to move on uh so we'll say perplexity ai you're going to be screaming in the comments about the mistake i've made there spelling is not my forte uh so we add in the all the fields that are required so what we can do is copy this cURL uh, example here and we can go into our bubble app and we can say import another call and we can paste it in and click import and then bubble mostly does an amazing job at learning exactly where everything has to go uh, in the API connector so I'm actually going to delete this one so that we're left with the one that bubble has generated uh, I'm going to say uh, ask AI a question I'm going to change it into action because I want this to be accessible as a workflow action. Uh, and then I'm going to leave these as they are. I think nowadays bubble, you don't need to declare content type application JSON. I think it does it by default, but it's not going to do any harm by leaving it in there. Uh, and then we've got system and user. So this is very similar to how you interact with the open AI chat text generation. Um, they do, in fact, though, advise you that, uh, you should be, this is not really going to work for a conversation. It's more of you ask a question and you get a response back. So I'm going to take this bit here because this is where my question is going to go. And notice that I've deleted the speech marks because I need to make whatever the user enters into this JSON safe, which means I need control over the sort of punctuation that goes into it. I need to mark this as not private because uh, I need to be able to access it um, within a workflow and you know if the user supplied the question how hot is the sun that doesn't need to be kept private things i need to keep private are my api key uh which is marked as private because i'm saying auth authentication private key in header so i need to put my speech marks back in here and uh, we can say uh, how hot is is the sun and now I need my API key. Just give me a moment to grab that. So I've added in my API key with bearer written in front of it. And uh, let's then initialize the call and see if this works for us. Brilliant. Here we go. And we've got a response back. This is all of the details, tons of extra information that we don't need to worry about. But mainly, 
to just see that uh, we have got here back a message from the assistant uh, explaining how hot the sun is. So I'm going to click save. That's our API call done. We've got no errors. If you've got any errors, uh, do have a look at the error message. It could be to do with your API key or it could be to do with uh, you not quite exactly following the way I've done punctuation here uh, with regards to making it JSON safe. Um, so let's add this into a page. I'm going to create a new page uh, and call this one uh, Ask an AI a question. And all right, I'm not going to pay much attention to design here. Uh, so I'm just going to have an input. I'm going to use fixed layout, even though that will cause loads of nightmares if I did that in, in an actual production app. Uh, and we will have a button. And then we'll have some text because I just need to be able to show the reply. Uh, so I need a way of storing the data that comes back from Perplexity AI. Uh, and one way I can do that is with a custom state and custom states are a great way of temporarily storing data. If you refresh the page, the data is gone. It's not saved to the database. It's temporary storage. Uh, and so I can add a custom state to my page uh, and I'll say answer. And then that's going to be of type text. And then I want my text here to display the answer. So where's my custom state works well, on my page answer. That's it. And I'll say ask That's the button. Let's set up our workflow. So first thing we need to do is go into plugins and have a look for perplexity AI ask AI question. Now the labeling there is exactly what I've labeled it in the bubble API connector. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, and then in question, I need to add in my input value and then make it JSON safe. So that takes care of any uh, pesky punctuation or special characters uh, in the input field, uh, but also it wraps the whole thing in speech marks. So it means that I shouldn't get an error. We're trying to send that data within uh, the bundle of JSON code that I'm sending over to the Perplexity AI uh, API. Uh, so then I need to set my state because after step one, Bubble will wait to get a response back from the Perplexity AI and then I need to save it. So where, do, where am I saving it? I'm saving it to the custom state, uh, which is here. And then the value is the result of step one. And I need to just be able to uh, dive into the different hierarchies, the different levels of the API response and find what I need. And I'm going to assume it's very similar to OpenAI, which is choices, first item, message, content. Brilliant. Let's try that. So uh, we could say, uh, well, let's just go with something basic again. Uh, how hot is the sun? And I would just underline here that I'm asking it very basic questions. You could probably get a very similar response with OpenAI. But just remember that perplexity allows you to ask questions based on much recent data because some of their models are online models, meaning that I think they have a, a much more up-to-date uh context information in the large language model, their LLM. Um, and also, I think that it gives you much more academic answers if that is indeed what you're looking for. Uh, so let's run it. And hopefully, here we go, we get a response back is approximately 15 million degrees Celsius. Isn't that hot? Uh, so there you go. That is Perplexity AI. And that's how you can add in Perplexity into your bubble app. Let's remember, this isn't great for conversations. It probably is going to be better for more academic um, context. And I really hope that they bring the sources uh, and some of that extra data that you get around. Um, and you get a lot of extra data around it when you ask a question such as the sources and maybe follow up questions because yeah, that would be amazing to add into a bubble app. So any questions, uh, anything that you'd like to see perplexity AI or you would like to see us demonstrate with AI models, please leave a question down below.